Welcome to this demonstration of EdgeCam's new shop floor editor license. Machinists may want or need to make edits to the EdgeCam program prior to generating the final NC code. For example, they may want to change some tools because the ones specified in the program created by the CAM system are no longer available on the shop floor. Typically, the machinist does not require a fully functional CAM license to carry out such edits, and it is often neither desirable or practical to edit the CNC code on the shop floor. This specialty license provides editing capabilities specifically targeted to the needs of the machinist. It's quick and easy for the machinist to use, requiring little training. The key features are that this loads edge cam parts, including those that contain solids, allows the machinist to edit specific tool and machining parameters such as cutting data, picking a new material, changing a tool, adding post-processor commands, moving machining instructions, simulating the tool path, generating a new CNC code file, and saving the file with a new name. The license also includes access to the tool store, RS-232 communications, editor, and EdgeCam utilities. Let's have a look at how this works. With the shop floor editor license, I've opened the job manager to look at an existing job kit. And when I edit that kit, we see the edge cam, the link to the edge cam part that the programmer has already created. I'll click the edge cam icon and this opens in the shop floor editor license. To be clear, the edge cam shop floor editor license allows edge cam to be opened in the normal method, start all programs and the edge cam shortcut or by double clicking on a edge cam PPF file or from job manager. You'll notice as we look at it that the interface is simplified. It starts in manufacture mode, for example, and it includes only commands useful for editing toolpath. The full display commands as well as ability to work with layers are all provided to the machinist. So all the machinist really needs to know are the basic structure of edge cam programs and ability to find the things that they might wish to edit. In this case, the last tool in the program has coolant running. We'd like to turn that off. So we're going to insert the coolant command and drag that to the appropriate spot in the list, just like we would in any other edge cam program. The tool path is regenerated and this simple on the floor edit has been quickly done. Other editing tasks might be things like changing a tool. So notice that I can find a tool from tool store pick a different cutter. We'll be able to change the standard things that you would want to change when selecting a new tool. Perhaps a different turret position, perhaps assigning a suitable color if we have pr preferences on that, and also accessing information on the spindle page such as through coolant. With those options set, we'll press OK, and the underlying tool path, the roughing and profiling cycles in this case, are automatically recalculated. Again, just like what would happen in any other edge cam program. If I edit one of the operations, you'll notice that the shop floor editor is graying out fields that aren't available under this special editing license. But as always, you have ability to change tool and cutting data. Let's have a look at one of the cycles. Notice that the inaccessible fields are grayed out, but we can change the percent step over, the feeds, the speeds, and cut increment. Once the program changes are complete, the machinist can simulate and can generate code, and then we recommend that they save the file with a different name so that the programmer can compare the file they produced and the file from the shop floor edits. Thank you for watching this video on EdgeCam's Shop Floor Editor License. Please contact us if you have any questions about this new license and whether it might be a useful shop floor editing tool for your company.